Hey guys and welcome to another edition of Weekend Bookends. I've had a really good reading week. I've gotten into the habit of reading whilst I'm walking, which I promise, I promise, I do still watch where I'm going. I look up every couple of lines just to just to keep an eye out. Um, I have walked into a couple of trees and a lamppost in places where I've gone to really good parts of the plot, but I've yet to walk into a person so it's not humiliated myself yet but it's it's quite great because when I'm walking to and from work I can get through around 60 pages in total and whilst I'm at work again I read around 60 pages so that's 120 pages extra on top of what I read in the morning and in the evening so I'm getting my reading right back on track and I finished a book this week. I finished The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury, which I'm sure you're thinking that was not on my TBR. And no, it wasn't. It arrived in the post. It looks so beautiful. I've been eyeing it out for ages and I just couldn't resist it. I had to read it right there and then and I'm, I'm glad I did. It's good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I liked the plot twists, the suspense for like the world building. I liked that it dealt with um, religion as a control aspect um, in a very tasteful way and I will be doing a review of this on my blog. I don't think it's worth doing one as a video review unless you guys want one then let me in the com let me know in the comments below and I will but there will definitely be a review on the blog about it. As for books I'm currently reading I'm also reading another book that's not on my TBR. This is Daughter of the Forest by Juliette Marillier. Again, it just came in the post. I saw it. I wanted it. I had to read it. I have this thing when, I'm sure everyone's like this, when you buy a new book you want to read it right there and then. And um, so I do. I want to read it and I've already started it. I'm a couple of chapters in. It's um, sort of a, a medieval slash Celtic um, historical fiction set in Ireland and it's set around the time of the Picts and Vikings and it's all about this family who's um who's a um I also started reading Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. I'm about a quarter of the way through this. I really like how it's laid out. It's set in um in day segments it starts off with the incident and then every day following and how what happens in the incident affects the main character's life and how she adjusts and copes with the changes. It is a quite a dark um, plot, it, it deals with um, alleged rape or um, and slut shaming um, at the start of the book the main character, her name is Regina and she's at a party and she's the um, designated driver and she's trying to round up all her friends to take them home and she goes to find her friend who is passed out and her boy, her friend's boyfriend who is really really drunk attacks her and tries to rape her and Regina leaves the party and finds her way to a friend's house and tells this friend I say friend loosely, who um, everything about it, her friend says not to say anything, that Regina's friend will just assume the worst and so Regina doesn't say anything and she goes to work, it goes to school on Monday morning and everybody thinks that she slept with this boy. She tries to, you know, tell them that, that he tried to rape her but no one believes her and it sort of deals with that aspect in um, you know, in female friendships, toxic female friendships, that kind of thing. I, it's quite complex and deep for uh, young adult fiction. I'm still carrying on with The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I'm still around the same pa place I was before. I'm still like only 100 pages in. I really like how it's um, going so far. I like how slowly things are being introduced and explained without being like info dumping and the characters are really interesting. Although Vin, the young female character, is a bit... I don't know what to think of her yet. She's 
I'm guessing she's going to be kick-ass later on, but at the moment she seems like a weak, whiny child. Um, pardon me. And the final book that I'm reading at the moment is Storm Siren by Mary Weber. I'm about halfway through at the moment and I'm really, really enjoying it. If you're in the mood for something high fantasy and you're looking for something to kind of fill the void between now and the next Throne of Glass novel, this might be a good idea for you to check out. I will link it in the info box. It is a really... There's a lot of things going on in this world. There's war, there's airships, there's elementals, there are people that control the earth and weather and it's there's a lot of stuff going on and um, it hasn't been fully explained yet and I'm, I'm already halfway through the first book so um, I will definitely be doing a full review of that when I get to the end of it but I would recommend giving it a check out and you can always get a sample of it from Amazon if you want to give it a try. As always let me know in the comments below what you guys are reading at the moment and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.